like all combined in. Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe. Today is a new day, and we got a what? We got a banger. Let's get it, y'all. All right, guys. Today we're gonna talk about how to combine your dreadlocks. As you guys seen in the recent videos, I was doing a bunch of stuff with my hair basically we got a christmas color gucci slash gucci color gucci color inspired but on christmas season so christmas look to it too a lot of you guys mess with this so yeah 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 this is what i got so far i'm gonna be styling this soon because i'm gonna get a retwist and the new style that y'all gonna see is only done by a few people so stay tuned for that video if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to watch that video because it's going to be a banger after banger after banger thank you guys for giving me the 30k and here is my new intro for 30k so let's get into that intro As I combine my dreadlocks, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on why you should do this. Especially if you have uh, thin dreadlocks or something that's thinning out than a normal look. So pay attention, listen, make sure you write that down. And also make sure you apply to your dreadlocks because if you're not applying it, you're not really learning. So stay with me now. Alright, so I'm going to grab a thin part of my dreadlocks, which I noticed there was some thin in the back. The, the back side of your hair thin, thins out a lot of times because of the lot of friction that you get when you're sleeping. Uh, you are rubbing against your head and the pillow and everything like that. So uh, it, it becomes, it tends to be more mature and also thinner. So as you guys can see, the back of my hair is much more thinner than the front of my dreadlocks. And that's common. So don't get skeptical, guys. Some of them in the back actually are pretty thick too. But this ones that I've seen, and I had like three braids it together they ended up combining kind of together but not fully so i want to combine them together and it will be a combining video which will make the count of my dreadlock way much less than the usual so this is the dreadlock right here as you guys can see as you guys can see it has the roots very close to each other and it's very thin that right here looks like one dread but it turns to a bunch of you know hair so it ended up being basically a congo so if I were to take it out, this is what it would look like. All combined in with each other. Giving it that Congo look, but it's actually used to be braided together. So you guys can see how it's braided together. Uh, the roots is quite thin. And it didn't thin out over time. Or it kind of did thin out over time, but at the same time it was really skinny start that I had back here and of course as you guys know I'm growing this hair out to have a mohawk dreadlock so that's why it looks really messy stay with me guys don't get distracted boom so you got a bunch of hairs in the root I'm, I'm retwisting my hair after this so for now I wouldn't mind combining it and uh, the retwist version of it will end up looking like this. So I'm kind of testing out how far it's really reaching. Especially one of them was like coming from literally another side of town, like back here. And then it kind of like, you know, the whole section is all dreadlock that is combined together. So let's see if we can do two of them. Maybe. It's been like this since I had my braid. So it's been a while since I took it out. up combining them all together let's see yeah there's some thinness going on right here especially just see it when I twist it that part right there is very thin and this part right here is thin too and then this part of this drill lock is kind of thin it has a bunch of bubbles and buds in it so I think yeah time to combine it I wouldn't mind it having as thick as this. This is a Congo also that has been combined. And it's kind of towards the front. It used to be two different dreadlocks, but it ended up growing out and uh, yeah. And you can see the buddings and everything, which is the maturity of it. And uh, 
yeah, I'm gonna match it with the rest of my dreadlocks. So without further ado, let's get into it. I only need one tool, and that is a crochet needle. This is what it looks like right now. This is the before. Got it tangled up. You see the braid it used to be in, which is fine. For the rest of it, I'm gonna just three strand twist it. And then I'm gonna crochet needle it. But this is necessary kinda to kinda help you put it together so that when you come in later, you'll be able to just easily hit it with the crochet needle. And the goal is of course to make it a one drill lock. So for those of you guys that always ask questions like, can I start my drill locks with you know braids or anything like that? This is how you do it. You can do it with braids, you can do a two-strand twist. Really good method is two-strand twist for sure, or even a finger coil or one strand. needle and pull the lock in kind of like from one lock to another lock so there is benefits to combining your drill locks for those of you guys that don't think there's benefits at all and one of the benefits is actually for strengthening and support system a lot of the times that whenever your drill lock start to get skinny you guys don't notice it and out of nowhere it's like thin as heck and then you're like what the heck is this and then you leave it like that and then it falls off the problem with that is that it didn't have any support system you already see the decline of it so you should be able to do something with it but if you're just sitting there not doing anything you are literally gonna risk your dreadlocks so if you have any thin dreadlocks start combining them especially if there is like progress and the thinness of it like decline of progression then you should actually consider combining your dreadlocks and uh here in a bit i will tell you the second reason why you should combine your dreadlocks have you noticed that i have pretty thick dreadlocks <laughs> see it right there for example kind of like locked in you can see still you can still see the curviness of it and what a lot of locticians would do is actually put external extra hair or external hair around it wrap it around it and then crochet needle it to give it that smooth slick look uh they do it like whenever they give you like wicks and stuff like that and then they come with scissor and they trim out the buddings and the extra hair so it doesn't look like braids but after a while of doing this with the crochet needle you will literally start seeing the progress without you even ever having to add any external hair uh, for those of you guys that don't have the patience for it add an external hair but as you guys see right here there is a lot of curves and stuff like that but once i get to this you will see it blending in and uh coming in together uh, earlier i asked you guys if you guys know why i just chose to have thick lid dreadlocks and it's because i didn't want to go through the thinness of it that's the second big reason about uh why you should combine your dreadlocks is because you want it to get thicker the thicker the better for the dreadlocks to last longer and also the thicker also it could be a little bit bad if it doesn't have a little support system from the from the root so if it's like starting off skinny back here and it gets thicker that might be a problem because then it will start to pull on your roots if you already have thick dreadlocks then that's kind of like a good a good thing to have sometimes because the thin dreadlocks or skinny dreadlocks thinness comes so faster so in a hurry than you know thick dreadlocks don't I mean don't be scared if you take care of your hair you're good but if you're a person that don't take care of their hair much then you should try to combine your hair or even add external additional hair like a uh, afro kinky hair add it to it and crochet needle it like i'm doing it so watch the progress now i'm gonna fast forward it to where i'm gonna hit this part and i'm gonna show you So far, I've been doing this for about 15 minutes, and uh, yeah, it's coming in. It's pretty much locked in. The only part that I haven't got to is like this part right here, 
Uh, it was wet because I had um, retouched up some of this part. So a good advice for you guys would be do this on the dry, uh, dry hair, not on the wet hair. So you guys can see the tip is gone already. Like I can't take it out anymore. So I just gotta blend this in, smoothen this out, and then we'll be good to go. Sometimes we gotta let the natural way of locking it, lock it up too. You can't just perfect it, you know, just like uh, locticians would do. But we're over here doing it ourselves. You feel me? So let's get into the rest of it. All right, guys, this is the look that I have so far. As you guys can see, it's pretty much locked up, especially on the bottom end. This top end will lock in as time goes. This is the main part that I got really twisted from the beginning. And so I haven't touched it up much, but I've done it from like around here to the bottom. And this is how I really combine it. And uh, to fix the roots, I'm gonna show you right now, actually. Uh, if you have anything like this that needs to be blunted, usually you wanna cut it, cut it or <laughs> fold it in half and then wherever you fold it at you want to be able to kind of like hit it with this and when you fold it stop where the blunt is going to be needed at or the thickness of the locks is at go around it like this and then from the opposite side you stick in the crochet needle and I'm kind of going to twist it around the crochet needle kind of give me a good grip to start with and then you're going to pull inside of the dreadlock and continue to do that so that doesn't come out Kind of pull in your blunt, pull in the tips all around. That's kind of like how I'm holding it so that I don't stick it in my finger. If you're holding it like this, you're going to end up putting this in your nail, man. I've heard people that did that, I was like, ugh. I think one time I poked it, but it was a disgusting feeling. So I always curve this out so the blade can be going like this. So if I stick it like this, I'm going to end up sticking it, sticking myself in there. And with this, the same thing, I curve it like out. So when I hold it, I'm holding it like this. So sometimes I poke it like right here and stuff like that, but it doesn't hurt as much as if it goes inside of my nail. Yeah, this is what it looks like. And uh, the frizz right here, you deal with it with the palm roll method. And you can even like palm roll all the way up here so that you can kind of like make sure it's together. So now you have you know, draw lock that's all combined. The curviness and stuff like that, as you keep hitting it, it goes away. Or as time goes forward, it also goes away. So, so far so good. It looks like, you know, a dread itself. Like one single dread, except like up here. But I don't mind it up there being twisted like that. I will end up hitting it. But this is how you combine drill locks. It's very easy and simple. Use a, this method to do it with a crochet needle. If you, have, if you don't have a crochet needle, I guess you can let time uh, do its job and like lock it up. Just make sure it's two strand twisted or braid it so that through time it just tires to combine and then once you get a crochet needle you can perfect it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up. I'm Activerse and I'm out. Peace.